Welcome to the Neo ET7. I'm here at La Place de Mayne, and this has been an Allego testing location for a long time. So they've been putting out hardware here first before a rollout across the Netherlands and, of course, Europe. And look at what they installed now. Brand new. Ta -da. Oh, two hundred kilos. Hey, Marco. So manual battery warm-up even has the symbol and even though I'm at 9% I can still do manual warm-up. It shows that I have a low battery and everything but it doesn't give any error so I have to assume that there's actual battery warm-up going on right now. The thing is I wonder if it will show me the consumption so let's let's see let's go for a coffee first so because they're charging up the model 3 now it shows a hundred kilowatts available and first it showed 200 only for 800 volt vehicles good morning from Utrecht in the Netherlands where I am at this Allego test site so here for many years Allego has been trying some new hardware you can see the delta charger over there but i didn't come for the delta charger i came for the cam power unit so let's see what's going on here two charging processes active one at 80 percent one at 57 percent the 57 percent is the e-tron so they're actively power sharing and the cool thing is that with this QR code, I can just check in on the e-tron's charging profile. So I've turned on battery preheating remotely in the app and it warns me that this will take a lot of power and it's low on power, but it still does it. So yeah, let's hope, let's hope it works. So because these cars are charging decently fast on the other satellite uh, this satellite now offers 60 kilowatts available and this is completely dynamic so the moment that this e-tron charging curve drops the power will become available right here because all the satellites in the camp power setup are connected and there's only 200 kilowatts uh, available at this site uh, for these two satellites so that's a bit limited but it's just a testing setup so now there's another tesla plugged in and as you can see the e-tron is taking the full 88 kilowatts that this charger has available and now the ziggo van is plugging in at the other camp power satellite so i'm curious what will what will be the effect on these charging sessions So the onboard AC charger of the Ziggo van is unfortunately broken. So the dude has to charge on DC. So he cannot charge up at home. Which is sad because the Netherlands is packed with AC charging. Let's see what's going on. So this one, they're both doing sort of 60 kilowatts. So I'm not going to plug in right now. I'm still preheating my battery. I have no idea how long that stays active. I will check in the app it's still active but I will I will give it some time the van is done I'm preheated let's plug in yes all right verify with tag so I'm gonna show my neo badge Let's see if the Neo badge works. Seems to work. 
preparing I need to change it into English preparing to charge boom 4% so I used 5% as a preheat oh it instantly went to 5 so for I arrived here with 9% an hour ago and then I used preheating while just standing still and sometimes sitting in the car to protect it from the rain it started raining while I was here I will get my other phone out so we can check the QR code Ziggo van is leaving very nice guy unfortunately his onboard charger is broken so he has to use DC charging all the time garage should be able to fix it next week is the promise but he's been driving like this for months boom that's a good start that's a good start visibility on my old Android phone in this weather is really nothing let's let's try it get the curve on my phone boom oh yes this is the good oh, another e-tron arriving second one already this morning so it says vehicle limits so that's interesting because I preheated until the car said it was optimized so you would expect this to show the best charging curve possible so by tapping the battery you get this amazing powerful screen with the charging curve so yeah that is e-tron powered here is the charging port of course and this machine as you can see the cable isn't very flexible so it won't reach to where he needs it to be so the e-tron is gonna use the chem power satellite over there I am charging up at 126 kilowatts and there you can see the disadvantage of a shared setup because I thought I was charging fast and now I go for coffee the e-tron plugs in and everything changes let's see cable nice and easy to reach this charging port alrighty that's enough for now because I don't need the power anyway we tested this the e-tron came it was a great power sharing test maybe swapping time so time to stop this charging session identification required showing Neo charging badge authenticated stopping so that should be cool because it should raise the power on the e-tron oh no it shouldn't because this one is actually maxing out on this shared satellite because it has two CCS plugs so if you plug in right now there's a hundred kilowatts available because the e-tron is maxing out that satellite so it tells us 125 kilometers of range that is hard to believe I'm trying to figure out where the power swap is not that easy with this grouping of chargers set the minimum of 150 kilowatt and we rem remember my <coughs> preferences order now yes failed to order try again when near station oh. self-service power swap okay yeah auto order We'll order later. 11 kilometers. There we go. Mm. 